Hello everybody! Someone just decided to join us. Say hello! Hi to Abby, Alicia, Tammy, Amy, Aspie, Barbara, Brenda, Heather, George who is actually Michelle, <laughs> Kelly, Megan, Melody, Paige, Pamela, Shelly, Sherry, uh oh, people are jumping in now. Michelle, <laughs> Michelle, <laughs> Emily, <laughs> Karen. Hi guys, Aspie, welcome. <laughs> Get off, you stuck to me. Hello, welcome to Spooky Spooktober. <laughs> I have my little black kitty. You're not being very scary. <laughs> You're not being very scary. Ah, no. <laughs> Linda, hello. Oh, Melody, I've missed you so much. No problems. I really do send you healing hugs. I hope you feel better. <laughs> Pamela. Hi, Anna. Welcome. <laughs> Sherry, hello. It is 3 p.m. in the afternoon. I've just had two donuts. <laughs> Pig. <laughs> okay, now, yeah, hair going everywhere. Uh, and um, Alicia's here. Hey. Uh, she's uh, doing a colour list for patrons. And uh, I thought we'd do some marker magic here today. Why not? We brought little bat wings to have our black kitty wear on her. Oh, how cute! My little kitty would not let me put bat wings on her. Uh, so <laughs> shadow belly. You're going to get scary if I touch your belly. <laughs> She's already started. Look at her. She said, don't you touch my belly. <laughs> Just my head. Just my head, please. Shadow is spooky. Okay, so I've got a couple of Nightbot uh, commands there. The event, uh, exclamation point, mark, whatever you call it, event has the image that we're going to be colouring in today. Uh, this is from the Matt Davidson uh, Spooktober set. <laughs> and if you do <laughs> exclamation point, <laughs> Spooktober, it brings up the um, Spooktober... Uh, what do we call it? Schedule. Yay! No colouring for me. I oh, know, she'll go in a minute. She'll get sick of me touching her. She hates being touched. It's so funny. She sits there saying, touch me, touch me. But if I was to sit and actually pat her, she'd probably get up and move. <laughs> She's just showing off, aren't you? You're just showing off. You're showing off? Yeah. Yes! You're so cute. Yes! Not scary at all. <laughs> if I've missed anyone, hi Christine and Kelly and Jessica and 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 have I missed anyone yet? I think I've said hello to oh M hello pretty much everyone that's popped in. If I haven't, yell at me. <laughs> Meow. I know. Hi Angie. <laughs> Maybe not spooked, but cuted out by Shadow. 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 You're going to talk today. Okay. I did my nails. You know what's really weird is these are actually holographic grey black colour and uh, you can't see them under the camera at all. It sucks. Can't see any of the pretty holographic colour on me on these pretty nails right now. They're awesome. Jess, thank you! <coughs> Everybody send Jess a hug! It's 11 there, 11 o'clock at night. Okay, so I, I realize that it's really late for everybody. Um, it's 6 p.m. Michelle, is that yesterday? 
<laughs> Is that yesterday or are you in New Zealand? Are you ahead of us? <clears throat> um, so it's it's actually it's it's actually already Saturday here. It's Saturday afternoon. So is that New Zealand? Because I think that's the only other place that's ahead of us. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Jess, I better go do a good job, hey? Because, you know, you've been collecting those markers and all. You really need to have a good go. Oh, hello, Amy. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. We're going to colour with uh, markers today, so I hope I don't put you to sleep too much with squeaky paper. You know, it is wild and windy here. I know. Oh, you'll be right. I'm sure we'll we'll you'll figure it out for you. Uh, I I just filled up this pretty colour called Horizon Green BG34. I think I want to put some green in this one. Um, I don't use green a lot for backgrounds, so why not? Let's do a spooky green background. Is this stuff around here annoying? Is that alright? I think it's kind of cool. It's like a tree. I don't know. I can get rid of it, but know. it's cool. It's spooky. <laughs> it's spooky. Hi, Terralyn. No, oh yes, thank you, Tammy. No namanap, namanap, namanap. What's a namanap? A cat, catnap. No catnaps for you. <laughs> namanaps. No namanaps for you. <laughs> oh, thank you, Anna. I'm so sorry you had to do that. <laughs> Oh, okay. No worries, Amy. Nighty nighters. Ah, oh, well, tomorrow will be slightly different timed, won't it? Because we're going to lose an hour. So technically, it'll be 11 your time tomorrow. Is that right? It's daylight savings here, so uh, we are going to have an hour disappear tonight. Oh, it's so sad. And it means that I have to wait till 3 o'clock in the morning for the Diamond Art Club Diamond Art Club releases. 3 o'clock in the morning. Again. So sad. Yeah, so now I have to wait till 3. Not tonight, but tomorrow. But next week I will, or the week after. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, Linda, I know. Oh, it's so sad. A nana nap is an afternoon nap, like a cat nap. A little, you know, quick nap in the middle of the day. <laughs> oh, awesome. Hi, Dorothy. Hi, Heather, welcome. 1 a.m., Dorothy, I'm so sorry. Uh, am I getting Ennis? What? Where's Ennis? What are we talking about? I'm doing Ennis tomorrow. Oh, yes, that's what I'm doing, Abby. I get you now. Sorry, my bad. Yes, Diamond Art Club. I'm staying up for it tonight. Um, I am getting... I'm getting it. I am getting it. And uh, I noticed that Christine Karen's is one of them, but uh, it's not one of my favourite images. I know one of my favourites will come out by her. Uh, I think I can only afford one. Because if I can't afford any more, because I can't afford any more room, <laughs> I got nowhere to put them. Her name is Shadow. Oh, all right. Okay, we've got a couple of colours here. I'm going to use some blue green. I'm going to use some yellow green. I'm going to use I don't know what else. Let me look at my let me look at my book. Get out of my way, you. Oh. What? 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 I'm being 
show it off. I'm just flicking through my swatch chart. I've got lots of swatches. color there YG let me look oh yes that's a nice color too okay um, I want to put a bit of yellow in here as well as green and then some I guess white or pale pale green um, uh, and I want to put a little bit of uh, red in there as well yellow red no. Spooky. Spooky. The bathroom door just opened and closed by itself. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I coloured that one. Oh, it's awesome. No, I'm not saying I don't like it, um, uh, Linda. I do like it. But it's not one of my favourites. So that means that... Uh, I can save up my space <laughs> for when one of my favourites comes out. <laughs> Hi Karen, welcome! <laughs> Kirsty and Karen is just down temporarily. No, no, I think she's going to be there for good. Yeah? Uh, it's not my, it's not my, it's not my, not my Alice or something it's called. It's an awesome image. Um, but I like all of Venice's. It's not my Alice? You're not my Alice or something? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> something like that. It's cool. It's cool. I'm colouring Ennis tomorrow, so uh, hopefully you can come in. She's there for the long haul. I did think that. I did think that Christine was signed a contract and she was doing it, so... Uh, yeah, exactly, Dorothy. I'm still working on uh, Into Wonderland. Uh, I'm close to the bottom now, though. I've probably got one more row to do. One more row about that big, about that long, you know. <laughs> but I'm at the bottom. It is Kenny. She's closed Patreon. She's no longer doing it. So... Um, just Patreon. She's closed Patreon. She doesn't have time for it, which is fair enough. She's just had too many other things on her plate and uh, it takes up too much of her time. So she's uh, closed it for now. Um, at this stage. So yes, it, it has closed permanently at the moment. Meaning that, I don't know if, if maybe in the long, long future she might open it again. I don't know. But at this stage, uh, it is not. It's gone. It's gone. I think that might be too bright. I'm just trying to find some colours here. Alright. I'm not sure where to start here. I think I might give us a little bit of... Uh, what's this colour? YR000, which is called Silk. Lovely. It's silky. And uh, I'm going to put a little bit of this. Oh, watch mark and magic happen, eh? I was going to do watercolour background and do pencils, but you know what? I'm too tired already. <laughs> I'm too tired. So this is what we're going with today. And you know what? It means that I can put a little bit more in and spend a little bit more time on it. Uh, which normally I kind of try and rush through to get them finished. But in this case, I have three hours before Monya comes on today. Really? There you go. Shelly just said she's going to bring out the occasional image for a dollar on her Etsy. Uh, and also, uh, she'll do um, specials as well. So, I mean, she does specials usually for me when I do a colour along and stuff. So I'm sure she'll do specials for others as well. Hi, Hilary. Welcome. Um, as well. So I'm sure we'll still see English today. See stuff from her that will be on sale. Uh, I'm going to go with a little bit of Y00. Oh, 
Oh, I'm going to start with the background today because I want it to look really cool. What is that beeping noise? Oh. Can you guys hear that background noise? Is that too loud for you? What? Color. Y double zero? Yeah. Why? Oh, it says pale lemon on the lid. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's yellow. Does it look yellow to you? Oh yes, there's new Benny Blue stuff coming, isn't there? Very exciting. I did a Benny Blue for my nephew's room. We we uh, I coloured it with markers and then uh, had it printed and put in a frame for him. Very cute. What? This screen's freaking me out. It looks like it's got three zeros. It is triple. You said double. Sorry, it's triple. <laughs> Can you not hear anything? Is it good? I'm using a. What is my mic? It's a blue Yeti. It's a Yeti. Blue Yeti. Yeti, Yeti, Yeti. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeet, yeet. Anyway, I'll get over that in a minute. Uh, oh, I think we need another light color here. Sorry, I'm going to add um, light color is next. Oh, this might be too light, too green. Oh, well, this will do it. Let's add a little bit of G triple zero. Just say it right that time, pale green. I'm just dabbing over the top of the previous colors a little bit. Just adding a little bit of that green kind of glue. Oh, how messy does it look so far? Oh, I'll zoom in a little bit. You know what? This, this background thing is annoying me. And <laughs> I don't care if it's not annoying you. It was annoying me. Hello! There we go! I don't know how you got your little moving thing on your stream either. Uh, do I add any filters in OBS? Um, no? What's a fil- what? <laughs> What's a filter? I don't even know what a filter is. Oh, three new Benny Blues. Very cute. Very cute. <laughs> she goes, never mind. <laughs> nope. It has got this. Actually, it's on the side a little bit today. Let me just move that a bit. Um, I do have a... Uh, what is it called? A... Uh, pop filter that's sitting in front of it but only because when I pull it close to do um, voice recording I get that sort of noise when I speak because it blows into the mic but uh, I have that pop filter there but only because of that it, I don't need it this far away um, and it's also got directional like you you can put in the direction that the sound's coming from so if you only want it directly in front of you you just put that direction on uh, if you want to do say you're doing an interview with someone you can have the back and the front of the mic on um, so it's pretty cool you can you can direct where you want the sound to come from <laughs> it just sits in front of me on my desk uh, it's on my desk um does Nani want in Oh, the cat. <laughs> the cat's making lots of noises. All right, I'm going to come back in with some uh, Y triple uh, zero. Just adding a little bit over the top of that. Yeah, it is cool. It's really cool. I've had it for a little while um, and I've dropped it a couple of times. Naughty, naughty, very naughty. <clears throat> and um, yeah, it's been a bit naughty. Okay, I've got some YG41. No. Yes, no, don't. I'm lying. Yeah, we'll go YG41, which is a uh, pale cobalt green. I 
And uh, I'm just going to put this around the outside of the Mooney. The Mooney and the Noona. I don't know what that's off. It's off a cartoon. <laughs> oh yes, Neo 2s would look cool. Uh, pastels would look cool. Watercolors would look cool. I was looking at. I was going to use the uh, Tombow markers. Um, oh, that's what happened. I went to do a little bit of a practice, but I wanted to add on some because watercolor is really hard to tame. Uh, I wanted to put on some uh, masking fluid to stop it from coming over some of the parts of the image. But when I did a test piece. Uh, it actually pulled off the grayscale image, so I was like, yeah, no, that's no good. Um, so yeah, so hence why we're doing this instead. Okay, now I'm going to go in with some BG34. Oh, wait, wrong side. Let's just swap the lids around there. Hi, Catherine, welcome. Hi, Marilyn, welcome. Belinda, show her what it looks like. Oh, okay. It's messy up here and dusty, but sure. <laughs> you ready? Hang on. It's upside down too, because my camera's upside down. So, oh, actually, it'll be up the right way, won't it? Ugh. Okay, taking it off. Too hard basket. There's my cat, my mic. The blue yeti. Say hello Mike, how are you today? And this is my pop filter. Look at the cat hair. This is from just before when we were playing around. <laughs> and that little that little uh, needle felting doll was Baymax. What? Huh? Oh you can see me. <laughs> Hi. Hi me. Here we go. I'm back. <laughs> the little uh, dangly thing. Hang on. Faith made it for me. It's really cute. Faith makes stuff all the time. Uh, it's a little fluffy and a little dirty, but she needle felted Baymax for me. How cute is he? <laughs> I love him. <laughs> He's so gorgeous. It's called fur glitter. <laughs> Brenda. I love it. <laughs> Go to Belinda's School of Speed Colouring. Oh, it's not finished. It's nowhere near finished. Oh no, Loretta. Hello, I am Baymax. Baymax is one of my favourite movies. Big Hero 6. Makes me laugh every time I watch it. Out loud laugh. Anyway, what was I doing? Uh, BG34, which is... Horizon Green. Hi, Helen. <laughs> All right. Bit darker now. Let's just go around here. We might need to blend these two together because this is a bit darker. Oh no, I went over the little bit I didn't want to go over. <laughs> I'm just going to put a little bit in this side. Just down into here a little bit. Uh, and we'll come back over those bats later too. We'll come back over those with some black or, or dark blue or something later. But for now, we'll just colour over them. All right, we're preparing to blend the background. <laughs> it's swamp gas, exactly. 
<laughs> uh, what was I using before that? YG41? Let's come back in with that. I need to blend it a bit. Let's blend it. YG41. Come on, blendy, blendy. Blendy, blendy, blendy. Blender, blender. That's what my stepdad calls me. Blender, blender. Is it endearing? I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? Gotta blend it, gotta blend it. Loving the green background. Well, I thought it's something different. I always do like blue and purple backgrounds usually with for nighttime, but I figured let's do some swamp gas background. Background English again. So hence swamp background. Swamp gas background. I'm really not having much luck here. <laughs> uh, let's go in with something quite dark for this part. Hmm. Um, thinking a BG colour. A blue green, but maybe a greyish kind of blue green. So we could go with what is apparently called bronze. It doesn't look like bronze at all to me. It looks like blue green <laughs> blue green 78 which is really dark so let's do that oh look at that it's really dark it can't be my finishing color can it I need to blend that with something else it's too dark get a bit of a flick Flick, 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 flick. Down here. We can make it really dark down here. That's good. So how cool are these discounts, huh? I think it's pretty awesome. Mm-hmm. Hey, we're going to do a giveaway today. Maybe at about, oh, oh let's see, you need to remind me about 4.30 to do, a dis to do a giveaway. So we'll do it about halfway through. Whoa, ha, ha, ha. Whoa, ha, 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 ha. You like magpies, I do funny personality blender. What? I inspired you to what? No, you're not, Karen. Don't be silly. It's just learning. You just gotta learn. All mediums, you just gotta learn. Practice, practice, practice. I was hopeless at markers too when I first started. <laughs> I'm not going to put uh, maybe a little bit down the bottom here well actually you know what I think that's a cape so we'll probably end up going over that anyway oh. alright let's let's try the next lightest colour BG75 which is called Abyss Green fall into the abyss you know what this is gonna to be too dark too all right well just a little bit of that and if you if you're learning and you are looking at getting the markers to do this then I'd probably skip this color <laughs> because it's actually not not a lot different to the other color it's a little bit lighter 
just remember with the cheaper brands of markers that once you run out of them, you run out of them and you may not be able to get one specific color. So for example, if you've got a skin color that you really like and you've used it in an image and it runs out after a couple of images, then you have to replace that marker. If you can't, then you're gonna to have to buy a whole lot of new markers to be able to use the skin color again. So with Copix, you don't have to do that because if you buy a skin color, you can buy a refill for it or you can buy a replacement even. All right, moving to BG72. There you go, blicks are apparently refillable, that's good. Um, and you can buy them in single, is good too. Uh, I know that uh, Chameleons, their markers, their, their markers have refills. Coming very close to that last green that we did. Uh, this mark is actually running out. I can hear it getting really squeaky. I have a refill. It's okay. And it's new. Let me open it. Big I have them. Oh, wow. That refill just decided to go everywhere. That's okay. We can handle it. Uh, okay, I'm doing it over my rubbish bin. <laughs> I go quiet when I'm concentrating. Oh dear, I just spilled that everywhere. I definitely need that, that apron. Unless you just leaned over to see what I was doing. Making a mess. <laughs> oh, sorry. I made a mess, but I'll show you. You just, I take the, somewhere here. I have this little uh, tweezers, but I used my fingers. I pull the, I pull the chiseled nib out. Negadat. And then I just drip, and I made a mess, see? I just drip the ink into the thing. These are the older style. You've got the newer style ones now that look like this. <laughs> the nibs are a little bit different. Oh, and they're screw tops too. And the nibs are a little bit smaller, so you can actually put it right in there. Um, but there's less ink in the new ones. Bummer. Bummer. I put about 20 drops in to 30 depending on how big the marker is and usually I won't run them pretty dry so I don't really risk overfilling usually usually I say that because I did overfill one here last time we were on stream doing coat picks and it went everywhere uh, what hang on what hang on wait wait what I know, that's why, Angie, I don't do it over my page, because I do. Oh, yay, Marilyn, that's awesome. Uh, I haven't tried the Montmartre ones. I've got Montmartre. I, I, I don't know if it's called Montmartre or Montmartre. I don't know, but I've actually got their, I like, I've got their acrylic paint. Not Mart is Chinese, by the way. <laughs> All right, let's just, I've refilled my marker now, so I'm just going to come back in. That was with the BG72. Oh, that's much better. Can you hear? Less squeaking. Squeak, squeak, squeak. No, it's stopped now. I'm just flicking it out into that previous colour a little bit too. 
And then what we'll do is we'll come back in with the other colour and flick back over this colour so it blends in together. So just remember with markers, the more that you go over the same area, the darker the colour will come out. Nice. don't know if this is all hair it looks like hair to me that bit there's the only bit that I don't think is hair I think that's part of a coat which we're gonna do like black probably so maybe this bit here looks like it might be a little suspiciously like background <laughs> we'll make it up wing it is what we call it winging it I think that's a bit of hair too there but we can come over that Winging it, that's my motto. I had no idea what I was doing before I came on live either. <laughs> I started to think about it when at the end of um, Heather's stream. <laughs> Alright, now I'm going to go back in with the BG34 and just flick back out towards that. Just to blend the colour in. Just making it nice and smooth. I love the bright colours of Copic. I love the saturation. I love that the colour doesn't just change when you put it on paper. Uh, a couple of the other cheaper brands that I've tried, the, the colour uh, changes after it's dry on the paper. So yeah, I love how this doesn't do that. All right, and uh, going back with YG41, blending those two again. Right to the edge of the moon. Oh, I'm living on the edge. You can help yourself from falling. I'm living on the edge. You can <laughs> New color. <laughs> as soon as I hear the squeaky it reminds me of that song anyway so this is a smaller marker the chow is, holds less so I won't need as many drops and uh, I'm just going to drip it into the bottle did about 20 drops then and uh, I spilt it on the edge so I'm just gonna clean it up with the end of the nib <laughs> and put it back in Ta -da. Yeah, helps if you push the nib in right done obviously depending on which marker you've got a chow or a sketch some hold more ink than others so the sketch hold a lot more ink so you can put a few more drops in that's better ah. Wah. Wah. I got a pretty good blend there I'm quite happy with that good oh I'm so tired tired it's just started it was so hot here yesterday I cannot believe now this is gonna be cropped off so you won't be able to see any of those little edge bits there 
I think I'm going to add a little bit more of this same colour into the moon, but just in the darker spots. There's a couple of areas that were grey, which are the patterns on the moon. Let's just add some of those in. And blend it with the... What do we use again? G triple zero. You right? Yep. Sherry asked how long the Copics usually last, and then Anna asked specifically about the chaps. <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> That's my answer. No. <laughs> um. Look, before they need a refill, it depends on how much you're doing. Like, these images are quite big. <laughs> I need my jammies on too. Um, anyway, it... Hi, Graceland. Welcome. It would be a lot quicker to need a refill for this than it would for this because the barrel size is different. Depends on the colour. It depends on what you're using it for. Hi, Robin. Welcome. Um, so, for example, I brought all, I did originally get chows for skin colours, uh, but because I used them so much, it was worth me getting the sketch because they hold a lot more and they'd last me a lot longer. But for me, it depends. Like, it depends on how often I use the colour, uh, all of that. It, it, I can't give you a specific answer. How long is a piece of string is my answer. <laughs> um... It depends on the colour. Like, there's colours here that I don't have refills for that I still haven't needed a refill for because I haven't used it. So, uh, now I don't think I've used this colour yet. Y32? I haven't used that yet. I'm just going to add a little bit of that to the very edge of the moon there. I'm just coming out into the background a little bit as well. Um, but the sketch would last longer than the chow because the sketch is bigger. And remember that the ink is the same in every color. So the YR triple zero in a sketch is the same as a YR triple zero in in a chow. The same colors, it's just that one is smaller. Also the sketch comes in every single Copic color. The chow only comes in a certain amount of colors. So that was YR triple zero and then I've got Y triple zero. <laughs> No, Y triple zero next. And uh, marker work is a lot of layering, which is awesome. And uh, layering changes the color of the markers too, which is also awesome. You can make a variety of colours using markers. They're kind of like paint, but marker style. <laughs> uh, you can work on them wet to wet or dry, wet to dry, or you don't have to work quickly. I like working quickly, it makes things neater for me. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> A little bit more YR triple zero, just around that edge. I want to make sure I cover over all of the grey. I like it. That looks cool. It's spooky. <laughs> it's spooky. Yeah, put capitals. Thank you, Alicia. Thank you for doing that. Yeah, don't give up. Use proper paper. Um, I really like the mixed media paper. It works really well. I love Nina. Um, Nina works really well. I do find that this holds more layers than Nina. 
Um, this is what I'm using, the Strathmore Mixed Media. I use it for everything pretty much. I have been using it for everything lately. I have... I just have to do something here. Ah, oh, why didn't it work? Okay, that's weird. It was supposed to work. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't matter. I'll do it again later. Oh, good. All right, down here we want to add some of this color in here. You can go away. I didn't use you. Start with Y. Triple zero. I'm going to colour over all of that. Get away cat hair. Cat glitter. Fur glitter. Glitter fur. Whatever you said before. <laughs> okay. Um, let's go YG41. I learnt a lot over the last three years experimenting myself too, trying different things, um, trying to get away from the norm or or what was originally sort of taught. I I I, I like to be spontaneous and rough. I don't plan stuff usually, um, but it took me a long time. And I still find that I'm learning. I like the effects of some things that I do and go, oh, I didn't know that would do that. There you go. And we need to add some depth now. I think I might start with BG72 and work my way up. Okay. Bye, Karen. Thank you so much for dropping in. Hi, Yvette. Welcome. Bye, George. I'm uh, Michelle. <laughs> the chows are approximately half the price of the sketch. Is that right? Approximately, maybe not quite. I just started getting um, color blends, so color families first. I think yellows were my first color family I brought, and purple. Uh, and I did it in complementary colors too, just by accident. Mainly, no, because they look good together. Um, yellows I thought of oh, skin colors of course yellows and purples which I use the most that was BG 72 you know what I don't know if we need to go any darker than that here because there's quite a bit of moonlight on here maybe just there Um, let's go with the BG34. Yeah, that's good. I think that would that that sits well. Oh, little streaks in my grass there. I'll blend that in with a little bit of the G triple zero. Yeah, I'm doing it. Just going in, blending it all out. And a little bit more yellow. Now, these markers, the nibs are pretty versatile. I mean, I was just bending that like that and it was fine. <laughs> I, 
think I've only replaced nibs on my most used markers and sometimes if I haven't used them for a long time they go sticky but usually if I clean them they're pretty good so I really like the background I think we could do with a little bit of mist a little bit of mist I'm gonna use the titanium white pan pastel going to mist it up a little bit, a bit scribbly. Uh, that's good. I'll scribble it here. I don't want to use too much because I can't use a, um, you can't use well, you have to be careful what what am I trying to say? What sealant that you use because it won't sit well with markers. I think you can get some sealants that sit okay over markers but uh, the one I have doesn't sit well over markers. It makes the marker go all weird and spotty. I'm just being quite rough here and adding it into a few spots. giving it that ooh, kind of look <laughs> are you scary I'm scary not lines lines are good and we'll do black black we'll add black into the birds birds bats gosh seriously <laughs> let's get rid of the excess <laughs> the birds are flying at night <laughs> uh what did i miss something No, there's a giveaway tonight. Just still half an hour away. Oh, Loretta. <laughs> Pardon? What'd you say? I said I was focused on something and I'm going to come back in here. Birds fly at night. They're birds that fly at night. I said they were birds, but they're bats. <laughs> I know, I'm crazy. <laughs> Uh, just be careful with markers and fixatives, that's all. Anyway, this is going to be cropped off here and here. So you won't be able to see that. So just ignore that, okay? Um, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to use some white. Yeah, I might have to use a pen, gel pen though because... <laughs> oh, no worries, M. That's okay. I did think that not everyone was going to be able to watch it. Is I am on late, but I, I kind of have to, you know. Get there's people all over the world. It's really hard to fit everybody in at at, at good streaming time. So we kind of have to give everybody a bit of a chance to, you know, have a go. I'll be streaming my normal time on Monday. So uh, not so let's do another little bit of a thing here. Kind of a bit of a curly bit of, you know, smoke, isn't it? That would eat. Lines are good. Let's add a globe around our moon, hey? Eh? 
bit of light gel pen. I'm just smudging it with my finger so it's not quite so... I don't know what I what you would call that. Not quite so stark, so bright, so out there. <laughs> so out there. Look at that, but it reminds me of Sir Mix a lot. It's just so out there. <laughs> And they big, but anyway, I can't believe I know all the words to that song. <laughs> Showing my age now. Background's done. I'm happy with background. Just going to add a couple more. Bright highlights. It's down in here. Ah, pretty. No. <laughs> now what? Um, good question. I want to do red and black, I think. Um, hmm. Okay. 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 <laughs> we need to add some of the highlights in her hair. So, let's add... Why? 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 Oh, uh, I know, uh, Shelly. I think that's why I'm tired. Is it Samina? Oh, really? They haven't? Be careful with your... I've tested uh, to put four pictures in direct sunlight for almost nine months, but they haven't faded anything. Really? That's good. Um, it, I've given artwork... If I've given artwork, I've usually given a copy of my artwork. It's like I've had it printed. Because, yeah, I'd be worried that they'd... They'd uh, fade. No worries, Shara. Um, okay, so I've got some yellow, just a little bit in the highlights. Oh, you know what? Let's put a little bit in our hood too. And a cape. Yeah, I was always worried about the markers fading. I mean, some of those pictures, uh, we just went through my pictures, some of them were how many years old? Three years old, I'll say, I reckon. Three or four years, and none of them are faded. Um, but they're not in direct sunlight. They've been in, in a book or a folder. Hi, Cheryl. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Angie, we made magic with Marcus. <laughs> Making Marker magic. Alright, um. I'm debating whether to do a hair green, to be honest. 
but the darker green, so this green. Let's do it. Let's do it, she says. I got BG78. Oh, I just love some of Matt's images. Like the I actually brought bought bought proper English would be good. Uh, <laughs> his uh, Oh, tell me what I got. I don't even remember now. It's just gone. A couple of the pirate girls and uh, I brought a pack with um a mixture of Dawn and his. And uh, I love the little pumpkin head dude. He reminds me of uh, the second Wizard of Oz movie, actually. Jack, I think his name was. <laughs> oh, I don't, do I? I'm sorry. I'm one of those people. I <laughs> make it look easy. I don't like being one of those people. No. <laughs> I'm already blamed for enabling, please. <laughs> I'm just going to turn my camera on the side. I just noticed my hand keeps getting in the way here. I wonder how many people go back and say, it's Belinda's fault. She made me buy them. <laughs> Does it ever actually work? <laughs> Draining the bank accounts, keeping the economy going. <laughs> It's funny. It's my fault. You own Copix. Okay. <laughs> I made you put them in your shopping basket. <laughs> I was there saying, go on, just do it. Just do it. Give it a go. You'll really like it. Just, just put them in your cart. It's there for you. Just, just do it. Look, they're right there. Put it in. That was my voice. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> Linda's like, I agree with that. Right. Does this come? Oh, um, well, don't ask me that. Hang on a sec. Where's my book? I have a book that tells me, see, wide, chow, or copic. They all come in sketch. Okay, this colour only comes in sketch. How's that? There's a couple of my favourite colours that only come in sketch actually. This is, would be one of them and the, the whole blend. I think the only one that comes in the chow is the ocean ice blue, whatever it is. But there's an, another lot, the browns. What? Mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, hang on. There we go. In the browns. Oh. 
These ones are my favourites. But it looks like the only one that doesn't come in it is the 74. But I love these brands. This is a cool book. Um, I got it from the art shop. Uh, I think it's made by Express It. Oh no, this is Copic Marker, this one. Uh, and Express It. Um, so yeah, Express It brand. Express It's here in Australia, so that's kind of cool for us. <laughs> it's just Express It blending card, and they've put it into a, um, a book. This is like your, your lean on that and do that. It's great for reference for you guys, because yeah, I can just look it up and go, okay, yep, no, that one doesn't come in that. <laughs> I don't use it because it's not I need to see them a little bit more spread out <laughs> oh no worries Paige Copics and diamond paintings. Hey, you you had all Copics before I did, Linda. The diamond paintings I can I can vouch for. Okay. <laughs> I still don't have all the Copics. I have a pretty good percentage of them, but I don't have them all. Is a Copic app. I don't use it either. <laughs> and they send notifications in Japanese, so I can't read them. <laughs> so I tend not to use it because of that. That's what it looks like just there. Copic. And uh, you can there you go. I don't think I've updated it for some time. But you can add the colours that you have in it. Which is pretty cool. But yes, I haven't used it for quite some time. There you go. 390 colours. Hang on, that can't be right. <laughs> How many Copics are there? <laughs> That's probably both though. I don't even know how many colours there are. I don't know where my book is. Can't tell you, sorry. A lot. A lot. Yeah, there you go. Counts refills too. Thank you, Heather. Because <laughs> I think there's only 300 and something. <laughs> Hi Ruthie, welcome. I know, uh, I agree, there is so many colours that are very similar, like, uh, yeah, there are lots of similar colours. For example, there's an E02, is very similar to YR00 or something, but they are, they're almost exactly the same, so... I think I nearly have all of, I nearly have all of the violet colours. I don't know when the last time I updated this was, but yeah, I've almost got all of the red violet colours. Um, 
almost all of the violet and I've got a lot of the BB colors but not all of them but yeah some colors I've got all of them and some I'm not really doing this like I would normally do here either I'm kind of just following the image here a little bit I want to cover over all of the grey, so just all right. Let's add some other colours in here. Add a little bit of depth in a couple of the darker spots. bit of a thing there. Stuffing it up down the bottom here. It's all good. Alright. Gonna go to BG95. Did I use 75 I should say? My bad. 75. <laughs> the abyss one. I'm gonna flick. Flick! 358 colours. Approximately. Yeah that sounds about right. Did we see your face then? <laughs> uh, there you go. There's my Copix. Oh wait, there's a refills over there. <laughs> That's how I store them. No, I got it from uh, the, uh, one of the girls at the art shop. It was uh, one of the old art shop. Um, I think it was for the touch, touch, Shuani touch markers, I think that they are. I don't know what they are. Um, but it was too big for her area. So I said, oh, I'll, I'll take it and see what it's like. Oh, it was good. It fits perfectly in my area. And it kind of separates me too from the rest of the living room. Right place, right time. Shelly, right place, right time. Just keep flicking. If I hadn't have found it, Cam would have made me one anyway. You know, Jackie's. some crop in there. <laughs> oh, I know I have trouble too because I'm busy doing my thing. <laughs> so mine go to the very edge. <laughs> That's why I say living on the edge. That's Loretta. BG72. Uh -huh. Sure does. He's out there at the moment actually making some knives with, with uh, Ethan. Playing around with metal and stuff. 
Good on him. I'll go right up to dinner time today. It's crazy. It's so very warm in here. Luckily we've got that air conditioner, hey? Alright, I think we lost some of the green. So, lost some of the yellow, I mean. We've got plenty of green. I need to add some more yellow. Oh no, Shelly, really? He makes knives? That's cool. <laughs> I need a yellow. Y double zero. Y triple zero. Just gonna re yellow a couple of areas. That's Christine Karen's son, yeah? Cool. No, I have not. I likey her hair. Um, I'm even going to go to the extent where I add some blue in there because it's a little bit green. It's a little bit green. It's because I did it green. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add a little bit of BG07. Oh, hello. I don't have a refill for this, so it is only going to be a little bit. Just adding it to the shadows. A wee bit. I'm turning it. And let's follow the page around. Uh, that's a bit better. I'm just going to zoom out a bit so you can see that. Uh oh. I lost my camera. Where did it go? There it is. Uh, I might go uh, maybe even a little bit of might be to BG09. Just darkening up some of those shadows a little bit there, especially under the hood. Sometimes I'll go in and with a colour and then I'll, I'll think to myself, I probably could have skipped that step entirely and just put that in. But you know what? It builds to the character. It builds to the depth. <laughs> so did we see you on camera, Alicia? Hmm? Did we see you on camera? Put my hands in my eyes. <laughs> yeah. So you peek in. I didn't know you were going to turn around, sorry. <laughs> Nearly. Or Nally. What 
what I can't understand is when I use marker it comes up splotchy I've been watching and hers is so smooth not none is splotchy I flick but it's still splotchy <laughs> what markers are you using hi CB I should say Connie nearly 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 <laughs> it could be paper it could be how heavy-handed you are uh, I mean I know if you're shaky it could if you don't have a certainty about the flick you could get some splotches on it CB is fine <laughs> Too heavy handed, maybe? Mm, it's hard. Alright, what's the time? Oh, I still got an hour and a half, but I'm not near finished. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to use a burgundy red for her cape. I'm going to leave her skin to last today. Um, I'm going to go with some RV99, Red Violet 99. Uh, it's called Argyle Purple. Ew. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to go into the shadows of her hood. Yep. I'm going to go to the loo and uh, stuff too. <laughs> Need a loo break. So this has been digitally done, this one, I think. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Yeah, I feel like it's digital. If it's not, it's been done with a blending pencil. A blender. Blender, blender. I think this is going to be a cool colour. All right, I'm going to have a quick break. So, let's talk about the giveaway. <laughs> Actually, I completely forgot. I should probably check what we're giving away today, shouldn't I? Um, all right. Uh, 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 let me find out what, what we're giving away first. Let me go to my list. We thought we would give away Matt's Halloween six pack. Or if the winner already has that, they can do something of equal value. So that was from uh, Dawn and Matt. So a six pack, Halloween six pack. Hmm. What can we do with that? <laughs> So if you already have it, then they'll work something out with you, of course. Um, okay, so the giveaway... Uh, wait, 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 don't wait, wait, wait. I have to put something here first. Okay, here we go. <laughs> the giveaway is going to be done by Nightbot. Nightbot chooses a random winner from the chat. Uh, from the people who do put in the uh, code word, so uh, you do need to enter the code word to enter for Nightbot to count you. The code word Alicia picked today is BOO. So if you'd like to win uh, the Halloween six pack or something of uh, equal value from the Davidson Art Etsy store, then please enter the word BOO. B double O. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh, look at them all. All right, I'll be right back, guys.
Hello, I'm back. <laughs> Oh, boo! <laughs> Good job! <laughs> Booty boo boo! Boo! Alright, come on, guys. Enter, enter, enter. Who's still here? <laughs> now. <laughs> Hi, Andrew, welcome! Okay, Dorothy, you don't want to enter? Before, I'm going to draw it in a second, so um, I'm happy to do that. Anyone else want to enter while I'm at it? <coughs> Just write the word boo. Boo hoo. I'm waiting. All right, here we go. Couple more seconds and I'm going to put it in. So make sure you've written the word. I think we had a few fall asleep. <laughs> you type the word to enter the giveaway and Nightbot will choose a random winner from the people who have actually written the word boo. <laughs> hanging in there here we go already okay nightbot's gonna roll it I would have played my little special music thing but for some reason it's not working I don't know why why it's not working wait let me see if that works ready Pause for dramatic music. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> Anna! Congratulations! <laughs> Anna, um, if you could please email me, uh, because that way I'll have your email address and uh, I can get your details to Dawn Davidson and Matt Davidson. Congratulations. Just yell out so I know you, you know you won. Please. <laughs> um, Anna, are you still there? Anna. Da, 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 da. Yes, you. <laughs> I love it. Me? Yes, you. Congratulations. <laughs> you won. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> uh, so, if you haven't already got it, of course, you won the uh, Halloween pack. What was it? What did I say it was? The Halloween six pack. Matt's Halloween six pack. Um, so, I will need your details. So, I did just post up my details. Um, if you could email me, please, within the next 24 hours, because there will be a couple of winners this weekend, and I want to make sure that I get you. <laughs> oh my god! 
god, yay, she says. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to add a little bit more depth in this side because it's kind of in the shadows a little bit here. I'll just add a few more flicks there. Very cool. I know it doesn't seem like a lot of colours, which is kind of cool because I like it like that. It makes things easy to look at. You know, you don't get too confused things that are going on. Alright, it's going to be red, red, red all the way down. Red, 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 red one. Just songs just randomly pop into my head. <laughs> oh, happy birthday to Tara Lynn, too. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> happy birthday to you. <laughs> happy birthday, Tara Lynn. Happy birthday to you. I just remembered it. I, I just remembered it. I was zoning, colouring the hair, and missed you picking a winner. <laughs> well, I technically didn't pick it. No, but did. No, Cherry. Oh, I'll um, I'll get to you. Your prize from Friday will be coming to. Um, I haven't yet had a chance to send off the details, but I did get your email. Just so you know. Pretty sure this is part of the thing too when we were colouring that earlier. I thought that. There we go. It is now. <laughs> no problems. Bye to those that are going. Thank you for joining and staying up so late. Is that the bat's leg there? I don't know, it kind of looks a little strange. thinking it is. It's a really long leg if it is. Yeah, it is. It looks not odd. Maybe if we cut it off here. Alright. Yep. <laughs> that looks a little better. Oh, thanks, Kenny. We're getting there. Slowly. Surely. We will. Kind of feels like at the moment I'm just lining stuff with the markers, just getting it prepared for colour. <laughs> I 
Oh gosh. I wonder what are we having for dinner tonight? We're having some sort of Asian food tonight, aren't we? <laughs> some sort of a uh, noodles uh, beef and something noodles. Cam's cooking tonight. Uh, Hello fresh meal again. <laughs> I think we've just got lazy now and we've just kept with it. <laughs> it's just so much easier to try to figure out what we're having for dinner every night. You want spaghetti? Well, we might have spaghetti tomorrow night. When? Because Jamie's going to be here. Melissa is saying she wants spaghetti. Good when your kids uh, compliment your cooking, eh? That's not a HelloFresh meal, that one. <laughs> That's a hello mummy meal, that one. <laughs> hello mummy. <laughs> There's healthy mummy already, isn't there? Healthy. Yeah, I think it's healthy mummy. Everyone's gone quiet. Did I lose some people? Is my chat frozen? <laughs> Is my computer still alive? <laughs> yes, because that's what happened the other day when it froze. I thought that nobody was talking, but... I then I realized I wasn't actually moving on my camera either. I was like, uh oh, <laughs> something's happening. <laughs> How cool. Okay, I think that is all of my dark areas. Now this section here is very dark, so we're not going to have a lot more colour in that, that area. It's sort of covered by her hair and by my spooktober thing down there. Let's do the neck thing that colour as well. upper colour and I don't want to do uh, it too light so what colour will I do now let me look I need to look uh, I could do a bit of pink in there and maybe some purple so what about I've got two colours here. I'm going to kind of mix them a little bit. Some V... Uh, v... <laughs> some V, if I can find it. 95. And... Some RV 95. They're kind of washed out. Light grape and baby blossom apparently hmm. apparently no worries Ruthie uh, I'm the last one on in I don't know on the Monday <laughs> so if you have a look at the schedule um, 
which is here somewhere under Spook Jabber. I'm going to post the link. This is a schedule, so it should have it in your time zone. I don't know where you are. Dream Cloud. Okay, a little bit of RV95. Um, and the images for all of the artists are on sale for the whole month. And we'll have a little bit of a party at the end of the month. Well, that's the plan anyway. We haven't tested anything yet. So uh, we'll see once the colour of Thon is over, uh, then we'll look into doing that. I'm actually going to fill out this section quite dark here. I'll have that right in the shadow. And we'll do the frilly part in a minute. I'll just do this cape first and get that started. I'm just going to add in the other colour that I want to use and see how it looks. Got to do some testing. You know, <laughs> V95. So there's um, on the schedule, there's some tabs across either the top or the bottom, depending if you're looking on a, a phone or on the computer. Uh, you can tab across to your closest time zone. I might not have uh, the, this might be too too light or too pink I might need something a little bit more violet so let's leave that one out we need something a little bit brighter maybe let's try V25 instead and you can take the other one out ah, that's better the other one was too close to the other color this has got a little bit of blue in it much better. Much better. <laughs> Sorry, Heather. <laughs> She's written and but. <laughs> um, lazy maybe. I don't know what your name is, but cool. <laughs> That's funny. All right, let's go back in with the yellow again. Y triple zero just. Ah, I picked up the wrong colour. No. Why triple zero? Why? It doesn't matter. There we go. Blended it off a little bit. We could put a little bit of G in there as well. There you go. It doesn't look quite so bad now, does it? Oh, look at that. I fixed a mistake. <laughs> doesn't look as good now. No, just joking. Look good. It 
probably looked better when it was lighter, but I can add a little bit of white on there to fix my boo-boo. I like the boo-boos. The world ends, I know. It's just terrible. Never mind. We'll just cover it up. <laughs> we'll just lighten it up a little bit. We'll add in some pencil, white pencil. Like, uh, oh, I've got this nice sharp looking one here. Just lightened up my highlight area a little bit. That was the uh, Derwent drawing Chinese white too. <laughs> Derwent. Oh, it's just a white pencil. Just write white pencil. Derwent drawing pencil. Okay, that's good. I like that. So we had. Get rid of V95, I don't want that anymore. RV95 and V25 with the two light colours. So I'm just going to go and I'm going to continue that down here. And I'm going to try to keep a little bit of a highlight. If I can, I just went over his foot. If I can. Just in the middle of the, what would you call them, bustles? Okay, ruffles? It's a fluffy shirt. <laughs> Puffy shirt, Seinfeld. Blending that bit in because that's all in the dark. You're in the dark, baby. No, I am getting tired. I'm going to start doing silly things and saying silly things shortly. You watch. I think Monya's next, yeah? Monya? Oh, I'm looking forward to seeing what she does, but I'm going to be eating dinner, so I probably won't get to see a lot of it. No! I don't know who's on after that. Wow. My head's not working. Oh no, what happened? Oh no, yes. No, Heather. No, don't do that. <laughs> V25. I'm kind of lucky because I'm actually telling you guys what colours I'm using. Um, <laughs> it tends to not happen as much. But it does happen. I'm trying to keep those ruffles over there on the dark side. The dark side of the moon.
Your cam hasn't been in with the, the cuppa. Oh, there he is. Cuppa time. I just literally spoke in your name. I said, Cam hasn't been in yet with a cuppa. And there you are, you appeared. Cam has just put his head on. I missed a little bit there. just use a little bit of the yellow again just to uh, lighten that up a little bit. Saying hello. She's saying hello, everybody. <laughs> hello. This is what I was actually going to do on the head, but it didn't turn out that way, did it? Anyway, looks cool. Let's do the hooded bit. Oh, uh, Vegemite? Yes. Would you like some Vegemite? I don't think we've got any bread. We haven't eaten bread. We don't eat bread here very much. We have wraps. More than we have anything. <laughs> I don't eat a lot of bread anymore. I love bread though, don't get me wrong. Uh, this is at RV95. I'm just adding some shadow to these little ruffles. Of my puffy shirt. I mean puffy top. <laughs> Very nice, very nice. Oh no, and he gave me a Vegemite sandwich. And he says, you come from the land down under. It's the best song ever. <laughs> There's lots of uh, alternative words to that song, actually. <laughs> But yes, good song. Uh, back to V25. I want to leave a fair bit of that yellow in this bit so it stays nice and light in those areas. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> How's the temperature outside now? Uh, dropping. Only about 24. Oh, what about Bicky? Yeah, I'll have a Bicky. That sounds good. I'm really sugary today. Just keeps me awake. Hey? Okay. Keep me awake. Oh my gosh, guys. No worries, Abby. So late. Thanks. What's a bicky? 
biscuit. And this is what it looks like. It's shortbread and it's got this creamy stuff inside. And Alicia's going, give me one. <laughs> Yeah, no Tim Tam today. No, sorry. Tim Tams are too messy with colouring. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> they are yum. <laughs> <laughs> Emily says I can't tempt her with any other biscuit because she likes Tim Tams too much. I spoiled her. <laughs> Bit more yellow. I like the way that ended up coming out. Actually, it looks kind of multicolored, doesn't it? Multicolored. Let's do a skin. <laughs> Nanny doesn't want to leave. That's because she wants a biscuit. <laughs> So good. Tea. So good. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to do all of the skin with E000 first. helps if my marker actually had something in it. Um, so that squeaking noise is an empty marker yet again. It's there. It's only supposed to be light. It's just it was really squeaky. Squeak, squeak, squeak. <laughs> squeak, squeak. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go with E21. Into the shadows. We're going to make her quite, quite light, but we need to add some shadows. Otherwise, she's going to look strange and flat. I forgot a hand. Duh. Derp. We'll do a jewelry last with all of the details in the back because I'm not sure what colour I'm going to do him yet. Ah, 
gonna just work as I go. I really wanted to finish this and I'm not sure if we're gonna. I've still got an hour. Can I finish it in an hour? I'm gonna say yes. I can. But I wanna finish it nice. She's got no chin. <laughs> yes, you can. Okay, last biscuit. It'll just get me going, okay? Night! Thank you so much for joining. How are you still awake? That is amazing. And awesome, thank you. <laughs> I got you dreaming about biscuits? I don't know. Yeah, that's really cool. My skin almost looks green because of what's around her. It's cool, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Some E11. Another one that's practically empty. Just going to add a little bit of shape to the edge of our eye there. I do still want it quite dark, but. Oh no, I smudged some of the green in her face. There must have been a bit of green on the paper, a bit of ink. Doesn't matter. I'll fix it. Hi, Terry, thank you. That's a cute little sticker. <laughs> oh, thanks, Rosalind. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> sweetness all right we're going to continue to move around the face with some e double zero blending some of that in I'm just trying Remove some of that green off her face. What a boop. Yeah, I don't know where that came from. It just appeared. Naughty. Naughty, naughty, very naughty. <laughs> Look at it. Right there, this big bit of green. Aww. Night, Emily. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you, everyone, for joining. And those that have stayed up so late. Awesome. Um, we need some E04. Nice dark colour because my shadows need to really pull forward a bit. Back, I should say. Pull back a bit. We need shadows. They make the picture. Don't be scared of them. Ah, oh, 
Aw, thanks, Tara Lynn. I didn't use the E double zero down here either. I should go back in and grab that. She's got kind of scary looking hands, but she's a vampire, so of course she would. E triple E double zero, I should say. I forgot to add that in here. All right, let's go over those shadows. E eleven. No, I'm going to use the other E11. I've got two of them. One of them has ink and one doesn't. Thank you so much, Helen. Thank you so much for being here. I know it's late for all of you guys. thank you amazing thank you so much it's nine o'clock in the morning oh my gosh I've got e21 that's cool it's uh, nearly uh, it's 5 p.m. here I've just passed 5 p.m. <laughs> it's almost dinner time for us tea time I don't know what you guys call it we call it dinner and tea <laughs> it depends I think it's dinner more than anything isn't it Alicia is that right <laughs> do we say dinner more than anything Keep forgetting the hands, you know. Grab that E11 again. I just threw that marker away. Goodbye forever, marker. Pretty much, because I'm finished. <laughs> Goodbye for today, anyway. All right, and then a little bit more of the E E double zero, sorry, to blend that. And then I think I'm good. I think I like the color. I've got plenty of highlight. I've got plenty of depth to give her some nice red, bright red lips. Yeah, I think that green's on my marker. It's weird. There's a little bit more of it transferred there. Or it's just coming from the edge of the... It's not quite blended into the paper yet. That happens. Is this why we, we stick to doing the skin first normally? I don't know. Usually I do the skin first because... I don't know. Because it's in the middle of the picture and I work out. I guess that makes sense, yeah. Okay. Lips. 
Ooh, she's looking pretty thawed out now. She needs pink. She needs pink! <laughs> 2 a.m., 10, 8 a.m., 9 a.m. It is so different. You've been up since 5 a.m. Feels like lunchtime. <laughs> uh, uh, adding some R20. Because she's looking uh, too orange. I'm going to do it lips this colour first as my highlight. I'm going to do a tongue and inside a mouth that colour too for now. Ah, that's a bit better, she's got a bit more colour in her now. it in there <laughs> dabbing the color I don't like the way this is sitting so I'm just going to straighten that up a little bit and uh, I think it needs a little bit more depth but I can't do I need to add something that's not, I haven't done. Just do a tiny bit of E25. I just needed to darken that up a little bit. It was just too light. Some E11 over it. I think it's just the side, it's the shape that, because um, she's sitting sort of a hand on, on, on a bit of an angle. Don't know. Anyway, it's a bit darker. Alright. Um, look at all those hugs. You weren't that into it? Oh, good. <laughs> Excuse me, sipping my cuppa. Using a little bit of E000, just to blend off that pink. Any lines that there were there. All right, let's do lips. I'm going to go with something really bright red. So, R59. Uh, This paper bleeds a little bit, so I'm trying to be careful. I don't want it to bleed out into the face too much. E40, E20, E46. <laughs> E46. I had to find a colour. Sorry, Alicia. She's making faces like, wait, what are you doing? Oh no, I, I accidentally bled into the lips, into the mouth a bit there.
46, yeah. Ah. Ah. Arr. Hi, Coloring Down Under. Thank you. Let's give her some brownie colored eyebrows. E25. Let's give her green eyes. G triple zero. Uh, with a little bit of BG thirty four on the outside and for the shadows. I'll just zoom in a little bit actually. I keep forgetting that I've zoomed right out again. There we go. Uh, a tiny little bit of C1. Hi, Shell. A morning for you, is it? Lovely. <laughs> Just in the whites of the eyes and also just on her teeth. Actually, that could be part of her mouth there. Let me just colour that. Bit of the dark red colour. Now, I'm not sure what colour to do the tongue. I've left it that pinky colour, but I think it needs a little bit more pink in it, doesn't it? How about a little bit of R43? I don't know, it looks nothing like my tongue looks like, but, you know. <laughs> a little bit more R20 just to blend that out a little bit. I think we could probably add a little bit of skin colour in there too. Like E21. That's good. Uh, colourless blender. Just to get rid of that line on the from the grey. And also try and push that red back in <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> uh, let's do a black multi liner. And uh, I'm just going to do a couple of flicks through the eyebrows just to define them a little bit. Let's give her some really nice long eyelashes. Glamorize the vampire, of course. I just made her eye a little bit smaller there. I might have to fix that with a bit of white. My bad. My bad. It's better. Let's put a highlight in there too. While we're at it. <laughs>
welcome. Hi, Yvette, welcome. Anyone else I miss, welcome. Okay, yep. We have this thing here. <laughs> I don't know what color to make it. I don't know, she says. I might make the jewel the same color as her lips. So we've got uh Fifty-nine. A little bit of R twenty. And some R forty six. I know they're tiny little areas, but we can still do it. Some white spots on her. I'll just zoom back in. There you go. She's got white lips now. <laughs> and then a jewelry. Let's make it. Uh, I don't know. Probably the easiest thing to do is, would be gold uh, or silver, which we can just do grey. A little bit of C two. C5, what? C2, C5. Yep. We'll add some sparkles in there for the twinkle of the middle with white. You can see that. Oh, she needs red nails. Uh, fifty nine and uh, forty six. Now, before we do finish up, um, I will be colouring Ennis tomorrow and then Katerina on Monday. But then throughout the month, on the Mondays that I normally stream, I'm going to be colouring in three extra images from the Spooktober uh, artists. I've got Monia. Uh, and we'll be doing giveaways for that and I've also got uh, Jennifer Zimmerman and Christine Karen so there'll be a few extras there I'm gonna use I'm gonna do this guy how much time have I got half an hour I will finish we'll finish I'm gonna use my black multi liner I'm going to fill in these little bats. Okay. 
Actually, this multi-liner might be too small. It's going to take me too long. Grab a bigger one. That was a 0.3. Try a 0.5, shall we? Would you recommend a prism colour brush or bullet? Oh, I don't know, Catherine. I've never tried either of them. Um, pro markers are supposed to be good, but they don't have brush nibs. Do they? Oh, they've got new. Oh, have they? I I'm actually not sure. haven't tried either of them. Oh! It's telling me there's half an hour left. Dinner time. <laughs> you have to keep me on track with time because my news starts at 6 so... I don't know. I haven't tried either of them. Nothing compares to them. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just outlining them and scribbling them in. Silhouetting them. I was going to leave the shape of the highlights there but I think we'll just colour it in. I think it looks nicer like that. Definitely quicker doing it with a bigger pen that's for sure. I'm going batty. That bat looks like a bird. It's a bird, it's a plane. It's Batman. his body there that's probably why that looks like that anyway this has been so much fun it's fun watching people bring things to life I can't wait for yours Monia you have done some amazing stuff over the last few months. <laughs> amazing! Uh, anything with brush. Anything with brush. Try brush. Don't. Uh, uh, I just nibs are just not the same. But you know, I did an image with the. I brought the. What are they called? I don't even know where they went. I put them away somewhere because I don't use them. That other brand that I brought. Um, the colours were really faded. I struggled using them. They didn't blend all that well. They kind of went uh, grainy. Sometimes when you desaturate the copy colors too much they look a little grainy and that's kind of what they were like perhaps I should finish these at the end when we're finishing up just got quite 
quite a few to do. Well, I hope Matt likes it. <laughs> the last Matt Davidson image I did, I don't think I did it justice. I just was having a really bad day and it just didn't turn out like I was thinking it would. So I hope this one does. <laughs> Just tell me if anyone's chatting to me because I'm kind of concentrating and not really looking at the chat. No! <laughs> I haven't used the Tombos as markers, I've only used them as watercolours. Um, I haven't found a paper that they don't peel on, honestly. I love them as watercolours though. They're awesome. Um, I'm going to leave some of those and we'll get this bat done. I'm going to use black for bat. Batty bat bat. <laughs> uh, black 100. Oh, I don't like this one. Let's try the smallest. smaller. The other one's got a funny nib. I have to change it again. Black. I'm going to put some of that red in there. Oh, and he's a vampire bat. He's got that funny looking nose. Question? Water based. The Tombow jewel brush pens. I haven't tried the others. I didn't know there was any others actually, honestly. There's a bit of texture in this batty bat. Uh, I'm just going to roughly put a few little curly kind of flicks in here. Nothing special. I also made his feet and legs black. Yeah. Have I 
thinned out all the darker areas with black, but I think we're going to add some of that. We need to add some green into it. Maybe some of the red as well. I don't know yet. Where does the artistic flair take me? Mm-hmm. I kind of feel like he needs to have some of the red from the cape in him. So, uh, what did we use again? The one I threw away. No, I think that was a skin color. <laughs> Where did it go? Here it is. RV99. alcohol based uh, not so we're not talking about these ones then no you're talking about something else yes welcome back He's kind of scary looking right now. I don't like him. <laughs> I guess he's not supposed to be cute, is he? He's supposed to be like her. <laughs> um, uh, let's try some C7. just kind of just blended in now with her a little bit doesn't matter I don't want to see him <laughs> some C5 I'm going to give him green eyes as well. A little bit of a highlight. Can't really see him that well, but... Let's just make his teeth a little bit scarier. Give him a couple of highlight spots for his ears and... outline him a little bit because I colored him a bit too uh, viciously ferociously scarily <laughs> scarily 
I'm going to give him some vein lines. Here's his wings. I'm using the uh, the ninety nine, and then we're going to add in some green coming through the wings. So first of all, we want to add this light color. RV95 Let's add in some green. So our um, BG34. And we can do some little white highlights or something through with a white pencil uh, in a couple of areas. highlighting them a little bit I know he's scary looking I'm sorry I don't know, I don't like the bat, he's batty bat bat crazy, but <laughs> the rest of it came out alright, yeah? How are we going for time? Oh my gosh, that is so cool. I kind of rushed the bat a little bit because I knew it, but we had to go. But look, he doesn't look too bad. He just doesn't, he's not standing out too much. I don't want him to stand out too much. He's not the focus of the picture. There you go. <laughs> She's the focus of the picture. He's just there. <laughs> Thanks, guys. grow on me. They always do. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> well, it's bat. It's a batty bat bat. When people say they're going bats, well, you know, isn't that mean crazy? Batty bat bat. Bats are actually quite cute. 
we got some cute bats here in Australia and some really ugly big bats too but most of our bats here in Victoria are pretty cute looking things last year we had this big massive bat going around here though didn't we Alicia oh, yeah. we'd be standing outside just coming on dark in summer and we see these great big black wings flutter by That's fine. We finished. I'm just finishing up now. So once I've done, I'll post up Monia's link and let you guys go off and uh, grab a drink and get ready for Monia's. Yay! Big thank you to everybody who's joined the stream today. Thank you to Super Chatters. Thank you to people who hung out till all hours of the night. Thank you to those that have come in so early in the morning. <laughs> Last bat. Last bat. <laughs> Careful that bat's coming to get you. He's creepy. <laughs> <laughs> I got a little bit of Y at triple zero. I'm just gonna just lighten that a little bit more. A bit more of that moon color coming through. Heather, that's awesome. <laughs> well, I'll be back again tomorrow, same time. So, uh, well, actually, it's an hour later. I think, technically, because, yeah, our clocks go change tonight and stuff like that. So, <coughs> but you'll see me. I'm there. I'll be there. I'll be here doing stuff. I can still see a couple of little shadow spots of grey here uh, on the hood sounds like I'm talking about a car here <laughs> and uh, I'm just gonna very carefully add a little bit of that colour we used in the shadows which was RV99 uh, Alicia has done a colour list uh, from our colours we might have to add a few things but I'll pop it up for patrons so uh, if you're a patron it'll be there at some stage but we're done thank you again everybody have a great um, night evening day wherever you are and I'll see you tomorrow I'll chat with you in live streams too bye all bye Nani <laughs>